Hello guys, now we are going to discuss about hypersensitivity reactions as you can see. Okay, so there are four types of hypersensitivity reactions. So first one which we are discuss about type one. Type one type of hypersensitivity reactions. Okay, it have many names like Anna Phi Lactic Anaphylactic. Okay, or immediate I double M E D I A T E immediate or reagenic reagenic reaction. Okay, in this what happens in this type of hypersensitivity reaction? See, antigen enters in our body. Okay, and it will binds to IgE. Okay, and when they bind together, this IgE and antigen, when it's when the antigen is bind to IgE, it's known as allergen. So we can write down as IgE and allergen, they are bind together. Okay. Then what happens? This IgE and allergen, they does what? They cross linked on receptor. Okay. Receptor. And these receptors are on mast cells. Okay, these receptors are on mast cells or basically basophils. Okay, mast cells or baso basophils and then these mast cells release vasoactive, vasoactive substance. Vasoactive substance. Okay, and what are these vasoactive substance? These are basically uh, like, uh, you can write these vasoactive substances. The major one is histamine. Okay, and there are others also. You, if you want, you can write like leukotrienes, prostaglandins, and cytokines. Okay, leukotriene, prostaglandin, and cytokines. Cytokines. Then what they do? These vasoactive substance. These vasoactive substance then causes massive vasodilation vasodilation so that the blood flow to that area increases okay massive vasodilation and uh, like smooth smooth muscle spasm smooth muscle spasm and uh, like uh, leukocyte extra vision okay what is this leukocyte extravasion in this there is basically movement of leukocytes towards infection or tissue damage side okay like they are normally moving in your blood, in your vessels. Okay. So what is this leukocyte extravasion? Then wherever there is damage or there is infection or inflammation, they will go out or they will move towards that part. That is leukocyte extravasion. Okay. So type 1 is clear. Antigen and anti uh, Ig bind and it's immediate. So what can you conclude from this immediate part? Like it's very fast. Okay. So which immune response is fast? That is secondary. Remember this thing. Okay. That is secondary. That is very fast. Okay. So actually what happens sometimes before in past that antigens enters in your body and your body identify it. Okay. Like and uh, your body knows how to act against the, that particular antigen. So what happens in your body, the IgE, okay, they will form and they will go and means simple. See, these are IgE. They will form and attach with mass. They will attach with mast cells. They will attach with mast cells. Okay, so when again that same antigen will come into your body, okay, they will identify it. They will go and, okay, so they will identify it. And when they bind with this IgE, these are IgE, okay. And when this antigen, antigen will bind to them IgE, then this mast cell will release what? Vasoactive substance, vasoactive substance, yes, vasoactive substance, okay. This is for your understanding part only, for your better understanding. Now, some examples of type 1, type of hypersensitivity reactions. So, the, just write them. The first one is like over allergies, you know, seasonal allergies and allergy. Then over rhinitis, you know that asthma, bronchial asthma, over asthma, bronchial asthma. Okay. And uh, atopic, you can write A, T, O. I see atopic dermatitis, atopic dermatitis, and 
ट Complement activation. Basically, the function of this complement uh, is to do the lysis of cell. Lysis means breakdown of that cell. Or complement activation or natural killer activation. Okay. So in this, what happens? See, these IgG and IgM they identify the antigen. Okay, and suppose this is the antigen. okay and this igg and igm they will go and bind to them okay they will go and bind to them and they does what they will go and bind to them they does what they activate complements complement activation or natural killer activation so when these complements activate they does what the complements come and do lysis of this cell okay lysis of this antigen okay this is a normal response a normal response okay but sometimes what happens this igg and igm they go and bind to our own body cells okay our own body cells that are normal in function that are not antigen okay that are not antigen so this igg and igm go and bind to them and they does what they does acti complement activation and because of it, uh, this what happens this complement will do the lysis of our own body cells lysis means breakdown they will break our own body cells okay so that is known as autoimmune diseases so in this type 2 they usually can does what they do autoimmune diseases autoimmune diseases there are many autoimmune diseases like uh, you know that good pasture syndrome good pasture syndrome in this actually what happens uh, your own body will make antibodies against the basement membrane okay of lungs or liver okay so basically it affect basement membrane in this what happens there will be antibodies that attack basement membrane of lungs and liver and what we will see in this good pasture syndrome it's very linear deposition okay linear deposition we will see linear depositions of these okay it affects basement membrane that's good pasture the uh, another one is as we all know myasthenia gravis myasthenia gravis okay another one is graves disease you know what is this graves disease uh, there are now there are uh, many other disease also as we just discussed like femphigoid vulgaris okay in just our previous video femphigoid vulgaris bullus femphigoid if you want you can write femphi guess vulgaris or uh, that bullus femphigoid bullus femphigoid they all are very important okay so do not forget okay then there is uh, as we know that is not autoimmune uh, means not autoimmune but that is also under this type 2 hypersensitivity uh, the example is like whenever there is wrong blood transfusion wrong blood transfusion okay and also in like anemia sometimes in anemia also we can see this type 2 hypersensitivity reactions okay like in hemolytic anemia hemolytic anemia obviously in wrong blood transfusion we will see this hemolytic anemia and there is one more thing 
in this autoimmune that is basically in this autoimmune that is remember this erythroblastosis fetalis fetalis okay this is also known as hydrops fetalis okay as you can understand from the name okay now type 3 it have name it don't have many names like all others immune complex okay type 3 hypersensitivity reaction or immune complex okay in this basically what happens the igg and or igm binds to antigen okay same like second type of hypersensitivity okay then after that what happens in this basically when they bind like igg and igm binds to antigen so in this what happens your immune system okay your immune cells cannot able to clean them clean them means see at any vessel there is inflammation suppose in some vessels there is inflammation okay so uh, your igg and igm goes and bind their uh, antigen or whatever is present there okay so what happens your immune cells cannot clean them okay so because of that what happens there is complex deposit they will deposit there okay and they can lead to ischemia you know ischemia means uh, less blood flow or other symptoms so here complex deposit in various in various tissue in various tissue okay and in this what happens see whenever this igg and igm binds to antigen they do what they just complement activation same like uh, previous one there is but difference only in the second point okay they are not clean by our immune system okay so that's the major difference okay so complement activation in target cell okay and uh, the examples are like post streptococcal glomerulonephritis okay psgn okay or there is like uh, systemic lupus erythematous sle systemic lupus erythematous okay or whenever there is any type of glomerulonephritis as i told you post septoglomerulonephritis or there is any type of nephritis okay nephritis comes under type 3 any type of nephritis okay majorly and then over serum sickness serum sickness is also under this okay then post streptoglomerulonephritis what is this psgn in this actually what happens uh there is decrease of c3 complement okay decrease of c3 complement okay and uh, if you see this uh in in this condition psgn condition the microscopic image okay of the, your kidney microscopy or polar microscopy okay microscopy or polar microscopy whenever you see what you will found you will found lumpy l-u-m-p-y lumpy b-u-m-p-y bumpy lumpy bumpy appearance in kidney basement membrane okay so whenever there is uh, affection of basement membrane in glomerulus or kidney then we will see this lumpy bumpy b u m okay bumpy b u m p y bumpy appearance in kidney okay what is sle as i have many times already told you systemic lupus erythematous what you will see in this sle you will see butterfly rash on face butterfly rash on face and you will also see wire loop kidney wire loop kidney okay this is type 3 or hypersensitivity or immune complex type of hypersensitivity now let's come to type 4 hypersensitivity type 4 type 4 have many names like delayed delayed means uh, this type of hypersensitivity reaction will be activated like after 24 to 48 hours okay it will take time so delayed delayed so it's t cell mediated M E mediated T cell mediated or one more grown humor okay so 
they all comes under this type 4 type of hypersensitivity okay so in them basically what happens see your t cells your t cells they do what they will bind to antigen okay your t cells t helper or t cells okay they will bind to the antigen and they will form one thing that is known as antigen sensitized antigen sensitized okay and that antigen sensitized is also known as th1 slash or cd8 okay th1 and cd8 then after this what happens whenever the t cells and antigen binds okay and they will form this antigen sensitized sens sensitized okay this is also known as th1 cd8 or cd8 th1 okay they will do what then the cell where wherever they will go the cell release the nearby cell will release cytokines okay and what these cytokines do these cytokines okay or cell release cytokines that activate macrophage that activate macrophage okay and then what does macrophages do macrophage remove target cell okay wherever uh, that antigen sensitized is formed okay that antigen so that macrophage will go and remove that target cell okay that antigen basically okay and the examples under this is like tb you know in tb there is uh not tb tb test basically tb's test like you know what is tb test mentox test or this mentox test is also known as tuberculin test tuberculin test okay tb or this hypersensitivity is also in like diabetes mellitus dermatitis and uh, that rhino scleroma rhino scleroma okay and one more thing uh, there is one disease that is not disease it's allergy basically poison iv rash poison iv rash that is also under type 4 type of hypersensitivity okay now i want to give you as you can see it's very it's become very huge and hectic so i just want to give you very little type of summary okay so the summary starts type 1 type 1 is antigen and ige okay as we just discuss they are cross linked on mast cells and basophils okay so examples as we already discussed what are the examples allergy i we just wrote down okay allergy rhinitis asthma okay atopic dermatitis anaphylaxis okay urticaria urticaria you can write from like previously okay from there now then type 2 cytotoxic okay in this what are there igm and igg in this what happened there is activation of complement okay and the examples examples as we just discussed good posture good posture okay good posture syndrome over like myasthenia gravis that hemolytic hemolytic anemia ha hemolytic anemia or blood transfusion okay graves disease or erythroblastosis fatalis okay then the third one that is immune complex immune complex okay and uh, in this which cells are there there is basically igg and uh, antigen okay igg and that antigen binds i antigen it's like same like type 2 the difference is there is like uh, deposition okay so complex deposit complex deposit okay and uh, the examples are sle systemic lupus erythematous you can write systemic lupus erythematous okay butterfly uh, as i already told you okay those things 
wild opinion all that and then next is nephritis any type of nephritis the most commonly asked is psgn okay post streptococcus glomerulo nephritis streptococcal glomerulo nephritis then type 4 type 4 is like remember their names also like type 1 type 1 names like uh, anaphylactic immediate and reagenic that are important okay you can write anaphylactic immediate or reagenic air now type 4 is basically delayed t cell t cell mediated or grolo uh, grown you know matters grow no low matters okay and uh, in this there is basically cd8 and th1 okay this th1 basically what they do they will kills cell directly okay so the best examples of them is like our diabetes mellitus okay diabetes mellitus that dermatitis okay uh, that tb rash uh, tb test okay that tb test tuberculin test okay basically tuberculin test or mentox test lep rosy l e p r o lep rosy okay and that poison iv rash okay so that's all from these hypersensitivity reactions if you have any doubts you can comment below Thank you.